What's the way you can manage? Since we came from the gutter, what message put to the brothers? They come and go be real, astonishing like a mother. When we rise like the sun, a king is among us. No time for the mess ups, killing off all these demons. Locked up, jail? Or jail? What's your name? Well, we're actually seeing why, because it was written. Man. Because think about it, think about this, Eric. For me to say that I'm African, I'm still calling myself after a white man. Africa was named Africa after the Second Punic Wars by Afri uh, Africanus, Scipio Africanus. Leo Scipio's Africanus, I'm sorry. He won through, during the Second Punic War and named that continent after him. Before that, it was called the land of Canaan, or the, uh, Parts of Egypt was Mizraim, things like that. In, in, in Kush. Yes. Yes. The land of Kush. In, 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 in the native land, the continent of Kush. I mean, I, I know what you mean, but I'm just saying death, we're not after. Death, death would be immediate for not only rape, uh -huh. but murder. Yeah, but death, I'm, I'm showing you our law. I'm showing you our constitution. We, we did not talk in our homeland. We did not tolerate. This. Where's our homeland? We now call the land of Kush. No, Africa. you can say Africa. Africa. Okay, we're in Africa. Because there's multiple countries. See, you nor I can say which nation or which, which region, whether it was Northeastern or South Africa. Okay. So, Eric, you're right. You nor I can say that. But can God say that? He knows it's written in the book. There are two books. That's the book of remembrance. No, no, no. Answer my question. Can God say that? Yes. He can, right? Let's see where he said where we're from. Read that. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above is free, uh -huh. which is the mother of us all. So, it says Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Right here, Paul was speaking in dual six. One, he was talking about the land of Jerusalem, and two, he was talking about our mother, uh, Sarah, from Abraham, which we came from because Isaac, her belly came Isaac, and then from uh, Rebecca's womb came Jacob and Esau. We come out of Jacob's seed. So, right here, yes, we are from Jerusalem as a people. Why? Give me Deuteronomy 28 now. Start at verse 15. Because you got to say this. Paul said, Jerusalem is above and free, and the mother of us all. That, that would consider Jerusalem as the motherland. Remember, Egypt is just right here. Jerusalem is all this. But when you look at the ancient maps, we own a lot of land. These maps, how they have now, uh, show us a disservice of what the landmass used to be, what we rule. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not, Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it's going to happen that we're not going to listen unto God's voice, which is His word, His law, statutes, and commandments. Read. To observe, to do all His commandments uh -huh. and His statutes, which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these ill dealings are going to come upon one group of people and overtake them to the point where they forget they're the people. These curses are going to happen. Let's see some of these curses that happen to these groups of people. And then we gotta, we gotta say, well, who is two and two, right? Because I, you said you can even say where we're from, I can't. But God is saying where we're from. So, give me, um, go to 43, no, 42. Just to show you, Eric and Jeremiah, that these people stem from the landmass of Israel. Remember, Israel is a man. It was Jacob's name turned into Israel when he fought the angel. What was his name, Jacob? His name means supplanter. And his, he, his name was changed to Israel for a reason. After he fought the angel in Genesis, I think, 32. 
Exactly. He, and uh, that angel renamed him, giving him a better title and name? a better uh, what inheritance. What was the name? It doesn't say. Read. Yeah. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. Huh? The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shall come down very low. Like, he was talking to my brother Jeremiah earlier before he came up here. A king should not be working for pennies. Just be rude. With you. A king should not be working for pennies. A king should have his own. Don't you agree? So that means that we should be entrepreneurs by nature. Don't you agree? When you look at our brothers that's in the street, they have more entrepreneurial sense than most of us that went to school. Let me just be real with you. They know more business sense, even though it's in foolishness. But they have better businesses than people that's going to school. No, they, they didn't choose to accept God. Okay, you're right. You remember, you're God right. was talking to Samuel. You're right. He said, they're not going to listen to me, so they'll listen to you, Samuel. So he, he gave them, instead, he was also, he was at first offering them judges, but they rejected those. And he also rejected those. Judges, kings, they all, they all weren't the same. Because judges pass what? Judgment. Or they govern the people. Same thing. So with that understanding, I'm saying that we're supposed to be returning back to our heritage. We should be keeping God's laws, statutes, commandments. That's what builds up culture. Right. That's what builds up the remembrance of self. Give me that in Job 8 and 8 real quick. And then uh, jump to Nehemiah 8 and 8 after you read that. Because I'm going to show you this is why we're out here. We understand that our brothers and sisters don't know who they are. We at one time didn't know either. So we, we're no different. The only difference that, that's between us we're, is the knot in the application. Even our oppressors have a hard time acknowledging who they are. They, you know, they don't want to acknowledge who they are because it proves everything that the Bible is saying. Of course, the oppressor is going to be the devil. That's his role. That's what he's supposed to be in this movie. He's supposed to be the, the evil guy. Let's jump All right, read that. This is the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. Huh? For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. So inquire the former age. So that means we have to look to the past. Why is it that when we ask our young brothers and sisters, they don't know nothing past 1960? That, then whose I whose uh, responsibility is it to teach them? It's us and the parent. Read. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So it's important that we prepare the search of our fathers. Why? Because if you know your past. You can better your present and you can go to a better future. But that's why God is very heavy in knowing where you come from, who your people live. He's very heavy in that. So if anybody say anything other than like, oh, your genealogy doesn't matter, it's part of all people. That is not biblical. That is not of God. Give me that Nehemiah 8 and 8 now. Read. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. Huh? So they read in the book. In the law of God distinctly. So we have to read in God's book distinctly. That means carefully. Go line by line. Ask you questions. They don't do this in the church. Read. And gave the sense. And gave the understanding. Read. And caused them to understand the reading. Read. And Nehemiah. Okay, so now, now that, that goes into their formation, what they was in. We're doing the same thing that our forefathers did at that time. It ain't no different. So it is our job to be out here to show you which people you come from, which customs and laws you must start keeping again. Because we read that in uh, uh, 1 Maccabees 1, 46 down, that at that time in the Greek captivity, that there was a Greekish man named Antiochus that made laws that went against Antiochus. our God's law. Yes. So he made laws to go against our God's law. A lot of people do that today. That's why I was mentioning about religion, politics, sports. These things are religions. I want to, I want to in, inject the one thing because we were talking about what has been done, our lost knowledge of who we came from. That lost knowledge led us to be where uh, 
somewhere around 32 AD, and he was hanging on the cross, and he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Okay. They didn't know what they were doing, simply because they had lost their hearing. They had lost the knowledge and understanding of who they were. Not at that time, no. Yes, no, at that time. What nation are you? I'm right here in I'm African American. Is put I put a knife. I your that that's the term that you know about. Okay. What about you? Check in. All right. So my people, they're from right here, Seminole, right? The Cherokee. The Sioux, all the all that stuff, right? The five civilized tribes, you heard of them? We were all in the same boat, right? So with that understanding, they labeled us as Indian means savage. Or well, heathen. Mostly savage. They named us this, but God said, you're bad. God said you, you claim, you say African American or American black. God calls you Judah. He never called you American. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.